Welcome back to Stand with Kelly and Nikki Chewbacca. We are talking with Rob Yunt, a newly minted state senator here in Alaska. Rob, you were just talking about what your priorities are going to be when you move into the legislative session in Juneau coming up. You talked about education and the three E's of education, uh, enlistment, uh, what do you say, employability, and what was the third? Enrollment. En- enrollment. enrollment. Yeah, not so. going to be enrolled in college or enlisted in the military. They need to be employable. I like that. The three three E's. So what else are some of the priorities you're thinking about? Um, our game, game management in Alaska. So I, um, I've i probably done more hunting um, in my life than most in the legislature, other than Mike Cronk. Uh, Mike's definitely got me right now, but I'm going to catch him. Trust me. So I spent a lot of time in the woods. It's been really sad and hard for me to watch our sheep populations deteriorate during my lifetime. So we need to step up. The legislature needs to solve this problem. It's a bipartisan issue. Um, I think we'll work very well together. I got some great ideas on that and some good real world experience that, that I help bring to the table on that. Um, lands, the state controls 60% of the Matsu borough. The feds control 60% of the state. And so um, all of the boroughs are having an issue with affordable housing. And you got to remember the state of Alaska does not pay property taxes to local municipalities to help with education or roads. So I will absolutely run a bill asking the state of Alaska to give back 5% of every, um, 5% of the acreage in every borough municipality, things like that. Give it to the local government, give it to the Matsu borough, the municipality of Anchorage, Kenai Peninsula, the borough of Fairbanks, whatever. And then they can turn around and auction it off to the citizens which will bring down the cost of land and help house make housing more affordable. Timber, Bill Clinton shut us down on timber 1999. Uh, we've done 15 times more timber harvesting in the Matsu borough since I was elected out here than we had before. The state is ready for a match. I mean, we're there are so many areas. We've seen the big fire down on the Peninsula a couple of years ago. That was, there was a gentleman down there, a timber harvest guy that had been begging the state to harvest that for years. And then boom, it all burned up. So sad, right? Now that we can self-grade lumber in Alaska, which most people don't know about, we can actually start creating our own products here and have them be legally allowable to go into homes. So we can bring down the cost of housing with that. Plus we can create jobs. Timber used to create 4,000 jobs a year in Alaska prior to Bill Clinton doing what he did in 1999. We're down to about 60 to 100 jobs. So there's an, and we didn't even used to be able to self-grade. So I think we can go past the 4,000 jobs we used to have. So there's a real opportunity there to help our budget and our economy and fight inflation. So I I got a lot of stuff that we're going to be working on. Um, I'm very, 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 very organized. And I have a lot of bills that I'm already working on that are bipartisan, common sense, going to help every single one of us. Uh, You're never going to see me attacking anybody. You're never going to see me trying to run radical agendas. I am going to be running common sense stuff that will help everyday Alaskans. Yeah, I mean, that's everything I'm hearing right now is all really commonsensical stuff. And it should be bipartisan, should get bipartisan support, you, you know, you would think. So what I love about you, Rob, is ha- being a person of strong conviction, knowing what you believe and sticking by it, but also just that that approach of I want to put forward things that should be uh, acceptable and agreeable to both sides because they're good for all all Alaskans. The, the only arguably controversial thing that I've heard you talk about that really, let's be honest, shouldn't be that controversial is uh, boys and boys sports, girls and girls sports, boys and boys bathrooms, girls and girls bathrooms. It's going to get way better because they're starting to eat their own. Look, I have friends from every walk of life. Um, one of my closest friends is a, is a gay man, right? I don't, I don't care. It's none of my business what somebody does in their wedding chapel what somebody does in their bedroom. I don't care. None of my business. And I don't think the government should care. Right. Um, But the agenda has gotten like so far left from just this crazy, minute, small group of people. And now you're starting to see them reject that because they're realizing this is radical when people are rejecting it. Girls have been voting in America for over 110 years. They've had title nine for 52 years to give them their own sports. We can't take all that away. That's what Iran did. Iranian women were free in the 70s. Now they're not. That happened in 1979, right? Like that was not very long ago. We cannot let that happen here. We have to protect our wives and our daughters. And so Absolutely. And I don't think it's controversial. And and I, because I have friends from every walk of life and family members from every walk of life, I don't think I'll be seen as being, um, you know, um, 
partisan on that. It's, it's not at all. I have four daughters and two sons and have coached a couple thousand kids and I know the difference and that's all it is. Right. I love every man, woman, and child on this planet. I don't care what color your skin is, how much money you've got. I don't care about any of that. You know, what your uh, love preferences are, it means nothing to me. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to do things that protect all of us and help all of us economically. Um, that's, that's where I'm going to be focused. You know? Yeah. And so, you, you know, you're talking about respecting the dignity of, of everybody and, and, and the way that all of that has been framed is you can't respect somebody's dignity unless you accept, you know, that radical version of how, how gender, uh, gender should, gender should collapse in on itself. And, um, again, I come, it comes back to your common sense approach is like, we know what biology says. And so we're going to stick with that, but we can still respect and, and the dignity and uh, the sanctity of the lives of the people, uh, who suffer with gender dysphoria. It doesn't have to be a zero sum game. So I love it. Yeah. Rob, I'm really happy that you ran and that you're going to be in the Senate. You're going to be doing really good things. I wanted to ask you, what advice would you give for other Alaskans who are thinking, I'd really like to make a difference in the state too. They might be thinking or be inspired to potentially run for maybe a lower level office, like something in their community council or maybe yep. school board, or yep. maybe they just want to get involved and do something to make a difference. What advice would you give them? Call me, call you, like reach out. We'll help you. I don't, I mean that like my phone's on 24 uh, seven, reach out to your local Republican party. We are the party of common sense. We are the future. Um, we are not divisive. Uh, we love everybody. We're trying to help everybody. And so um, I want to get back to a time too, by the way, I, I'm not anti-Democrat at all. I can't wait until the Democratic Party goes back to the old school JFK disc because we have a lot of great, what I call JFK Democrats in this country, mm -hmm. old school, our parents Absolutely. and grandparents generation and some of the youngers. And I can't wait till someday the, the Democrat party can say they're the party of the, the working class American again, because they're not, they haven't been in a long time. The, the, if they stop going so far left, they come back to the middle and it helps all of us. Right. And so, um, but right now I would say, if you're interested in that, reach out to your local Republican party or pick, call me two three two eighty three forty. 40 final answer. Shoot me a text. I will help you. Like I'm very passionate about this in politics. The closer to home it is, the more it affects your life. Our school boards, mean more than anything in my opinion they're they're the ones helping our babies right to me the school board is more important than anything we're doing right um local city councils it means the world local assemblies it's a big deal right and so um yeah call me if you need help shoot me a text message um reach out to your local republican party um, i'll do anything i can to help you so i think that's good another question i have for you this was on the ballot here in alaska across the united states in every jurisdiction where they tried to pass rank choice voting and these jungle primaries where anybody can run without being vetted, it failed, except for in Washington, D.C. And here in Alaska, they tried, we tried to overthrow rank choice voting. All of the donations that came in were from Alaskans, and they put in $14 million to keep yeah. rank choice voting in these crazy primaries. We had a violent felon from New York on our final ballot running for Congress. We had a actress from California who posed as a pretend Alaskan running for U.S. Senate in the last election. And it looks like that initiative barely passed. We have 700,000 people registered to vote in Alaska, something like that. And the initiative passed by about 650 votes. So they're going to keep ranked choice voting in Alaska, even though it was 146 to one that the the ballot measure was outspent, right? 146 uh, yeah. to one outside money to keep ranked choice voting to the $1 Alaskans could put in. What's your take on all that? All right. So before I uh, like, I'm, I'm a very open and honest guy and yeah. I, I, I will speak positively about something if I like it. So there is one small thing I like about ranked choice and there's a whole bunch that I don't like. So I want people to understand, I don't, I'm not looking at this as like, what's a political position. I'm looking at this as just my personal beliefs. I like that the governor and lieutenant governor get to choose each other. So the only thing about ranked choice I like is I'm in the team building business. You know that it's the athletic side of me. So they get to choose one another and run together. And they don't get paired together later. Maybe not like each other. Beyond that, the rest of it's absolutely terrible. I worked with handicapped kids for three years in high school. I was an aide for, for Mr. Olette's program at Wasilla High School. Um, there are a lot of people amongst us that we don't know and don't realize 
when you're in the grocery store or, or driving down the road, but there are people in our society that have really severe learning disabilities and you may not even know it, mm-hmm. right? It's not any different than any of us. They just, uh, they have a hard time processing and, and, and stuff. And so this really is a really hard system for them to understand. The other thing is it's really hard on our elders. It's mm-hmm. very, I love my dad and my dad may watch this, but, and he'll get a chuckle out of this. If I have to text my father in his mid seventies, how to remember to vote, that's not a good thing. It's not fair. It's not right. Right. And so, and we'll be there soon. Right. So you're disenfranchising. When you take those two groups that I just talked about, you're disenfranchising 15 to 20% of Alaskans every day for the rest of time. It's terrible. Beyond that, it disgusts me that 14 plus million dollars from out of state left leaning organizations was sent in here by the helicopter loads to trick us, right? They should be ashamed of themselves. The fact they didn't win by 20, 30 points after spending $14 million goes to show you it's a terrible system. The only reason they won by this is because they actually made it so confusing for some people. They were telling people, if you're a veteran, you're not going to be allowed to vote in the primary after this. Are you kidding me? Lies. It, it, it lies, right? Disgusting. You, you, you'll never be able to get an abortion if this passes. Like they brought abortion in. This has nothing to do with abortion. This has to do with there are people out here that live amongst all of us who are darn good people who are not that young or maybe have learning disabilities. And this disenfranchises them and it always will. Rank choice is not new. It's been around for a right. hundred years and tried in multiple other states. They all rejected it because it's terribly confusing for a lot of us, right? Not maybe not me or you, but it will be for us soon. We're going to get so old, you know, it happens, right? But it just, I'm disappointed. You've seen me run my race. Did you ever see me attack my opponent? Never no. once. Did you ever see me make up a lie? Never once. Did you ever see me even mention their names? I had other opponents besides the incumbent. I would never do that, right? I'm not. And, and just the amount of lies that came out, but these are out of state organizations. They don't mm-hmm. care about me and you. They don't care about any person in the state. They're looking at Alaska as a cheap date to experiment and tweak new systems, work out the bugs before they bring them back to their state. That's all we are as a cheap date to the lower 48 radicals. We're going to run another ballot initiative. And I'm telling you, we're going to reverse it. We're going to win next time. Yeah, we so. got it because, you know, you said shame on the people doing this and also shame on the people here in Alaska mm-hmm. who were being complicit with them to uh, pull the the veil over people's eyes with those kinds of lies. Just just yeah. wrong. I mean, and, if you're going to do it, make I, sure you're doing it honestly. Yeah. The other thing I don't like about the system is I don't want average people doing this. I don't. And that's what that's what ranked choice is really created to to bring forward is the average of this and the average of that. No, I want the best of the best. Right. Like it. Uh, it just it's not a good system. You know. Mm. So, <clears throat> so I do hope it goes away. I'm, and and it. You know, I'm sure there'll be lawsuits and who knows the whole deal, right? I mean, there's there's right. so few ballots separating that maybe some get thrown out. Maybe the maybe the no wins bigger, maybe it loses smaller, who knows? It's so close, it's 0.1% is the margin. Right. The difference right. is two, but the you know, it's 0.1 difference either way. And so who knows? There's gonna be lawsuits and stuff. But I just I'm disappointed that they lied. Tell the truth. It just you like gets- rank choice. You like rank choice because it helps get the left in there. Just tell the truth. Don't start making up lies about our veterans. Don't start trying to 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 deceive people. And that's what they did. That's what disappoints me. So. Yeah, we appreciate that, Rob. Thank you so much for being on our show. Where You're can welcome. people find out more about you as you move forward into the Senate? What's your website? Um, RobForAlaska.com. RobForAlaska.com. So we can keep up with Rob and support him in his ongoing elections there. We appreciate you, Rob. Thank you so much for taking a stand for Alaska. We'll be back right after this break. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you in just a minute. Thank you, Rob.